holes here. And then my setup. I got a diesel fuel filter wrench setup. There's the socket. And dirty back in and close the hood and let's take it a drive all right take it a test drive and, uh, it's been running a little rough we put a new fuel pump on it a couple weeks ago one of those expensive on the frame fuel pumps but uh horse trailer tonight so I gotta go to work Donuts, but I had Snickers bars. I realized today that I have 11 subscribers. It's pretty awesome. 11. I know some people like are happy about 500. I'm happy with 11. Hope to see the horses running. Overcast, but it really looks good. 
good to go pro blinder anyway. You can see I'm uh, still on my test drive with the trailer. It's uh, at least 30 foot long, maybe a little bit longer than that. It's an old steel trailer and it's heavy. So even with the uh, 5.9 Cummins, it uh, hauls the truck down. Automatic transmission, but I had transmission rebuilt and it's got billet, port converter, shift kit, everything heavy duty in the transmission. I got the overdrive, when the overdrive's off, it's got a computer program that makes it a little stiffer. But uh, it's still, you can tell it's back there. I like to have aluminum trailer. The aluminum trailer would weigh a lot less, but it uh, costs a lot of money. I don't, I don't have that kind of money for a horse trailer. My road heading home with the horse trailer. I gotta figure out. I gotta K turn it around. Figure out what time it is. Figure if I got enough time to go for a run or if I need to go back to bed. Get ready. That's the problem with night shift is you're always doing reverse math about what time you need to get to work, what time you can pack your clothes, what time you can go to sleep. Night shift for four nights. By Monday night, I'll be out of my head, crazy. I never sleep during the day. No, I try to, but it just don't happen. Stay in the throttle. Stay in the throttle. Stay in the throttle. Let up a little bit. 